Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne, and today I'll be going over this Antec Cooler H20950 all-in-one liquid CPU cooler. That's right, this is a sealed unit. And also, what's really cool about this is that the pump is on the fan. But more on that later. Here's a look at the box specs before we go ahead and open it up. So, as for the socket compatibility, it's compatible with Intel socket 775, 1150, 1155, 1156, 1366, and 2011. And for the AMD socket, AM2, AM2+, AM3, AM3+, FM1, and FM2. Now let's go ahead and flip to this side. Do you want to go over the fan specs a bit? Uh, you do get a 120 millimeter liquid state bearing PWM fan with a fan speed of 600 to 2400 RPM, airflow of 25 to 98 CFM, and noise level of 16 to 38 decibels. And finally, right here is a quick peek at the software, what it looks like anyway. Sorry, I am not able to attach it to any kind of test bed, um, so that's why I couldn't OBS it for you. I did download the software, but it wouldn't let me. It says error, basically no cooler um, detected. So what this software does is it uh, lets you control, uh, monitor, and adjust your fan speed from your desktop. Here's everything that comes in the box, the cooler itself, which is massive, by the way, which I'll go over in just a bit. But first, let's take a look at some of the accessories, shall we? So you get a software CD, but uh, always recommend downloading online, especially looking for like, you know, the latest updates. Now, here is a look at how to install, as well as uh, what the parts are, etc. And here, is your retention ring. So this goes onto the water block and um, it's universal for Intel and AMD. However, I have to say that I don't like how difficult it is to slide this little tab. Like, if you use a lot of force, it will not slide easily. Like, you know, sometimes it's just jammed. So I recommend that, by the way, AMD is here, Intel is here, you wiggle gently and there it moves. There it is. But you see how it's just not the easiest, but you really only need to do this once, right? Unless you are testing and you need to reinstall or uninstall the um, retention ring. Now then, with the retention ring, you also get these rubber stoppers. This is so it doesn't accidentally come loose, these tabs, and then you're suddenly in a different configuration like when you are uh, installing this onto your CPU. So you put these little tabs into these holes right here, and then you just push them in and they should go in. Although this is, you know, a little, there we go, difficult, so. But yeah, so they just go in like this, you just kind of push them in even more and then they'll stay in place. So these are the little rubber stoppers. Now, next to that, you get this uh, back plate, also universal for Intel and AMD. And there are these uh, sticky pads right here that you place onto either side, like so, when you are mounting this back plate. It's just for extra security, I suppose. And here is a bag of fan screws, inserts that go into the back plate, screws for screwing in the radiator uh, to the, let's say, your, the rear of your case or something like that. And then we have all of your mounting hardware. So this is for AMD original back plate. This is for both Intel and the rest of the AMD setup. And finally, for Intel 2011. And last but not least is this additional fan that's included. What's nice about this is a lot of times you have to like buy the second fan. <laughs> so this is very cool. And the blades do seem very sturdy just by looking at it and the feel. Um, and it comes with a four pin connector as this is a PWM fan. First up, I wanna go over this really thick, I mean, this thing is just beefy. <laughs> this is your 120 millimeter aluminum double wide radiator. That's right. It measures in at two inches. I believe the standard 120 millimeter radiator is only about an inch thick. So this 
This is a very, very awesome radiator. Helps you get rid of all of that heat. And on this side, to get some aluminum fins to help you dissipate that heat as well as extra mounting points for this fan. Now this fan, the second fan is removable. However, the fan on this edge, <laughs> this is uh, pretty much permanently on the radiator. And what's really cool and different about this setup is that the pump is on the fan and you get like extra tubing right here. So you get four sets of rubberized tubing instead of two. And why did they decide to put the pump on the fan and not on the water block? Well, uh, Antec says that uh, if the pump is away from the block, it extends its life and it also avoids direct heat from the CPU if it's on top of the block, which does make sense. Um, so that is a pretty awesome new feature and definitely something I haven't seen on most radiators. Now as to the tubing, it is flexible, rubberized, and you get uh, 300 millimeters or 11.8 inches of this tube. Now then, as to the water block, here it is. There's a look at it and it lights up with the RGB lighting. You can fine tune the lighting um, with the software to light up to match the rig of your piece, I mean your rig, the end. Um, and also you could uh, have it set to change color if it's getting too hot, if, you know, if your temp, CPU temps are changing. So I have to say that that is a really, really sweet uh, step. And as for the connector, here is the USB connector that plugs onto the motherboard so you can communicate with the software, as well as an extra fan header for the extra fan that you get. A three pin connector that most likely just powers the pump. And this fan that's already plugged into the uh, four pin header. Last but not least is the copper cold plate. I'm gonna go ahead and take this plastic piece off. And never mind the smudges, um, it came to me perfectly smooth. But because this fell off, uh, you know, kind of got smudged in the box, I suppose, during some transportation. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> not Antec's fault, it's my fault. <laughs> Alrighty, um, but if this happens to you, let's say you're clumsy like me or whatnot, then just go ahead, use rubbing alcohol, some coffee filter to rub it off, and then apply your own thermal paste. Alrighty, so there's that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to attach the retention ring. So all you have to do is fit the little teeth where the grooves are. Hold on. There it is. And then just slide to lock. It's actually really simple. So that I like. Not the tabs, but I do like this mechanism. So there's no like necessarily any plastic piece that has to keep it in place. Well, that wraps it up for this video on the Antec Cooler H20950 AIO Liquid CPU Cooler. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, go ahead and hit the like, comment, and subscribe button, as well as follow me on social media, Joanne Tech Lover Facebook fan page, Joanne Food Lover Twitter, and twitch.tv slash whaletune, where I game stream with Tim Weekly. And also, please don't forget to donate so you can help expand this channel and feed this techie. And one last thing is storeenvy.com. Go ahead and check that out for my 8.5 by 11 inch prints purchased to your heart's content. <laughs> All right, I guess all that's left to say is mwah, love you much.